fall, I'm coming, you all. Walk a walk, I can't know. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Mwah. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm here, baby. I'm here, I'm here. How you turn this off, Sister Patterson? Woo! Don't make music like this no more, baby. They sure don't. Oh, whatever you want. Ew. Whatever you need. Ooh. All right, all right. You know, we only got 15 minutes. We only got 15 minutes. Sorry, Tony Tone Tone. But, you know, we got to, you know, record, girl. We only got 15 minutes on the show. Hey, you all. Walker Walker Ew. It's the Bimbo One House Addiction Show. And, you know, I'm multitasking. Yes. Hi, Sister Patterson. Fix your wig, girl. Fix your wig, girl. And I wig over there looking like Macy Gray, girl. Fix her, honey. Looking like my Aunt Tina, honey. Fix her. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I'm multitasking. Who's hitting me up on Facebook? Hold on. Pasha, who this? Oh, my God. Hey. Hey, Pasha, girl. Ew. Um, yeah. Listen, I couldn't wait to get home. I, like I said, I'm multitask. I'm dying my hair black just for tonight. Um, the, the guys like the new contacts, baby. Get into her, baby. Get into And these are prescription. These ain't like me trying to be, you know. No, these are prescription, honey. I can't see. So why not give it a little color? Walker, walker, air, bitch. I see you, bitch. I see you. Who dick you sucking, girl? Ooh, you better suck that dick. All right, listen. Real, like, honestly, I really couldn't. I'm being so honest right now. I couldn't wait to get home. Like me, anyone that knows me knows I don't argue. I don't got time to be on those streets arguing, nobody fighting, nobody. No, I don't do that. I just ignore. Okay, everybody has their way of responding. My way is to ignore you in the streets and come here and talk about you. So I'm starting to see a pattern, and no offense, but I'm I'm starting to dislike uh, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. I, I'm truly starting to dislike you, and I know you know. I, that, that sounds wrong, but no, I'm just I'm starting to see a pattern like I'm starting to see a pattern with Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and You know, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt But I'm starting to see a pattern and black people You know what I'm talking about that pattern that I see but I will say this about the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans I love that you guys stick together. I love that. You know, we black folks We truly need to stick together because a lot of these other you know races and nationalities they know how to stick together but um i just want to speak on because you know i went to the hair store today get my dye for my hair and there's this dominican guy i don't know if he's dominican or Puerto. i don't know but i know he's gay and you know i'm sweet i'm a sweet person anyone that knows me knows i'm sweet until you test me once you test me now you're gonna see the rule come out but um i goes in now i've been sweet to him but i've been noticing he's just been acting real funny towards me and I notice a lot of dudes act like that because I'm what they want to be. Like, I'm what they want. I, I, like, you get me? Like, I'm what they... Uh, we got to hurry up. Um, what I'm saying is, I notice and... I think he's jealous of me. You know, I hate... I so hate using that word, but I honestly think he's jealous of me. Because I give nothing but love. So, in return, I expect that for you to hate me and I did nothing to you, it has to be something else about me that... Um, you must dislike and I, I I'm noticing he's probably mad because I know a lot of Puerto Ricans and Dominicans they can't come out to their family like they can't expose like they can't say that they're gay like what I mean is in the like the whole Puerto Rican and Dominican world is either if you're gay you're gay honey there's like no download like like you're gay but if you are man like you're not gonna say that you're gay. You understand what I'm saying? Like in the black community, like there's some. I oh, so hate saying straight acting because what is straight acting now? Like I'm straight acting in my world. This is how I think. I'm sh anyway. In a gay world, you know how you got a, a dude who's gay, but he's regular acting. Like you wouldn't know he was gay unless he told you. That's what I mean. In Dominican Puerto Rican world, it's either you're gay or you're straight. So. I think the fact that I can go in there and just be myself, everybody know who I am and what I do, that makes them jealous. But oh well, Walker Walker, and I got my die, and oh well, um, is it looking alright, y'all? But I, you know, I just had to come home and vent about that, like, grow up, be yourself, give a damn about what people say. Like, I don't care about what nobody thinks of me, like, I does me, and that's how it's gonna be. But anyway, I had a good time this weekend, I partied, um, shout out to the hot boys, shout out to, um, Rich Star, party at Mars 2112. 
Baby, oh yeah, here's some pictures right here. Yeah, there, yeah, there's some pictures. Oh, uh -huh, that's D, honey. We better work it, D. You know. Shout out to Julius and Ron. Yeah, we had a good time this weekend. Shout out to everyone I saw, all the supporters, the likers and the dislikers. Like, and then I had a girl who came up to me, and I, like I must have really been drunk, cause y'all know me. I don't listen to nobody. You know, I wear what I want, do what I want, act how I want. But this girl was up. She was like, I don't know, honey, your outfit is wrong. If you're going to be our tranny, Miss Dang, you need to do it right. Your sneakers is wrong. Your pants is wrong. You're beautiful, but I, she was like, uh, she was like, up here is cute, but she was like, all oh, this. I was just looking at her like, mm -hmm. I was like, but I was drunk, okay? Because my sober world was like, bitch, okay, you need to fix your wig, okay? Fix your outfit, bitch. That's why your man is fucking with me, bitch. Look at you. But I'm going to leave that alone. So, um, whatever. You know, I just wanted to vent real quick. Um... So, what are we going to talk about? I got so many emails. I'm trying to, like, work my hair. I got to multitask. I got to go to the slave job in a minute. So, listen. Um, so, the McDonald cashier, you know, the McDonald cashier that beat down on two lesbians, well, he's claiming self-defense. Very good. I wish I can clap. But, you, dup, 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 dup. Sister Patterson, I know you disagree because you felt them two lesbians did not deserve that beat down. Yes, they did. But you jumped over into my re register area. You was going down. But you come over here and attack me. This is self-defense. That man should not be in jail. But, I um, mean, shout out to Maushu. That was, you know, that was a dude named the McDonald worker. I understand. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm all for it. You know, you did what you had to do, brother. But I'm understanding it is. Uh, uh, you, you have a Maushu fund set up. Basically, he has a fun setup with it for his bell. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, you know, you did what you had to do, but I ain't trying to pay no money, huh? You know, I'm on your side if you need me, yo, roof, roof, but mm, I ain't give you no coins, so I give you a cheeseburger, give you a little happy meal, four piece nugget, honey. But what do you all think? Do you think he deserved to do some? I mean, we talked about this, but how's my hair coming out, y'all? I need to let this sit in. <sighs> all right, well, shout out to my Ushu, my Ushu. That was the McDonald worker name, you know. Okay, listen, we're gonna go into the intro. I gotta go fix this. When we come back, I got a juice, another juicy email for you. Plus, guess who hasn't gone platinum yet? Yes, her album been out for almost what? June, July, August. Almost five months now, and she has not gone platinum. And guess who's trying to make a return? Um, plus, a few other emails. Well, this is the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show. We'll be right back. Walker, walker, ew. I'm on the dance floor, I don't give a fuck I'ma take that dick and take it in my butt I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock Yeah, I know this queen, I just won't stop I'm not covering, but I get super head I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a nasty bitch Come on, Sister P, it's that addiction shit, you know? Alright, you all, so we're back, um... I just wanted to clarify my, you know, I just wanted to retract my statement, what I said earlier about my whole Dominican. I don't want to get, you know, what I said confused, Sister Badass, and I don't want people starting to think I hate, no, it's not that. I'm just noticing a pattern that, put it like this, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans will always do for their own kind before they help another human being. That's just what I'm trying to say, and what I'm trying to say is nothing wrong with that, but understand something. You're in America. You have to, you know, treat everybody the same. You know what I mean? Um... I, I, I just find certain stuff, whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out here on this statement. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of others that can agree with me. Don't start thinking I hate Dominicans and Puerto Ricans because I hate everybody. This is why I believe I would never get a TV show because I hate dealing with people. But I just really had to speak up on that because I'm starting to see a pattern with a lot of them. Like, it's just, it's getting crazy. Like, but it doesn't bother me because I don't talk to you. I don't need you. Only reason I go in there and talk to him is because I need something out that store, honey. But beyond that, I don't, I don't want to know you. I don't want no friends. So, I just want to get you guys because I know I'm pretty sure I got a few Dominicans and Puerto Rican, you know, supporters out there. Don't think I hate you. No, I love you. But, um, I'm pretty sure it's the one out there. Whatever, whatever. It's love. Love is love. I just don't want to make you guys think that, you know, oh, bimbo haters. No, I, I love everybody. Understand that. But, I hate everybody. <laughs> but anyway, Walker Walker Am is all love. Walker Walker Am. And trust me, anyone that knows me knows I love me a big old Dominican uncut dick that I can watch come looking like a volcano, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Trust me, I choose my Dominicans over a black dick any day. Shout out to all my black people, but you know all of my Dominicans. Walker Walker Am. I'm so bipolar. Anyway, moving on. So, do you guys care that Vanessa Williams is back in the studio? 
Exactly, I figured. <laughs> Vanessa, don't nobody care, girl. Don't nobody care. All right, um, I want to get to a few emails. Oh, and and that female who I said has not gone platinum yet. You guessed it, Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. Your album been out for almost four months now. You still had not gone platinum, gal. That explains why you going so hard with this pregnancy, but you not understanding it doesn't equate to album sales, bitch, because no one cares. But I love that song, Party. And did you all see Little Kim on her, on her um bus? Party? Whatever, whatever. We got to move on. So, yeah, Beyonce has not gone platinum yet. And a lot of you all has been asking me about this Amber Nicole, the little 14-year-old girl that sucked her that dick, honey. <laughs> yeah, so we'll speak on it in my next video. I just haven't got to it because I'm so busy, so many emails, so much stuff. But tomorrow, I promise you, I will speak on Miss Anna Nicole sucking that dick, honey. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, girl. You can see where my video's going. All right, so we'll speak on that tomorrow. I just want to quit. I want to get to some quick emails. Um, this is from Sade. She goes, "Hey, Bimbo, my name is Sade." I'm pronouncing your name right. You know I ain't go to college. I ain't got no knowledge. I pronounce a whole lot of words wrong. But anyway, hey, Sade. She goes, hey, Bimbo, my name is Sade. And I have extra tickets to the Wendy Williams show. And I wanted to know if you would like to go. The day of the show is Thursday, November 3rd. Email me back if you're down or not. By the way, I love your show. Oh, thank you, Sade. Shardine. Hey, girl. I'll let you know. I'll definitely email you back. Um, Yeah, that's next week. Yeah. You want to go? I'll definitely let you know. I'll definitely let you know. So, um, yeah, why not? Should be fun. All right, so I'll let you know. I'll email you back. Um, and speaking of Wendy Williams, the, 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 I'll say that for tomorrow. I got to rush, you guys. You know the show goes quick. All right, one more email, baby. It's juicy. Remember, if you want to email me, it's bimbowanhouse at gmail.com. And here's the email. Okay, this is from Suzina Fisher. Oh, should I have said that? Well, sorry. Whatever. She goes, okay, Bimbo, listen up. Oh, serious. I've been dating this guy now for about six months. Now, upon first meeting him, I thought he was just all oh, a little metrosexual because he was uh, into himself like a female. He has a, uh, he has, uh, he, excuse me, he has a really handsome face and loves getting his nails and feet done. You know, I'm all for a man I want to keep himself clean, but I started to notice shit about him. First sign, we had this mutual friend that I, that I used to date until I found out he was gay. So one night at my job, we was speaking of him, and he told me that they used to talk. WTF! And this is in capital letters. I played the cool. Then 10 minutes later, he had the nerve to say that he was just playing. Nigga, please. No straight nigga gonna play like that. Second sign. He asked me how I feel if I can have two dudes at once. I said, fine. Listen. Listen. Listen, baby. We gotta go. This email is too juicy. Listen, this email is too juicy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Don't blame me. It's YouTube. Help me get a show. Listen, we're gonna finish this email because I don't want to get all into it and then I gotta end this show. So, I thank you all for checking out the Bimbo One House Addiction Show. Walker Walker and I gotta go finish doing my hair. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I promise you I'm gonna have about three to four shows for you guys tomorrow because I have so much stuff that is backed up. I have to get rid of. Like, I, I want to get to it. So, I'm gonna try to record three to four shows tomorrow. We're gonna finish this email and the other girl, I'll respond to you about the Wendy Williams. This is the Bimbo One House Addiction Show. I thank you all for watching and I'm sorry. We'll be be back tomorrow. Walker, walker. Ew.